Review. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Todd McClay. Mr. Speaker, pleasure to rise and speak on this bill because it is an extremely important piece of legislation. And I'm glad to hear that parties on all sides of, uh, sides of the House will be supporting it. Uh, and I'm not going to take issue with any particular part that I you know, may think could be made a little bit better. I'm going to celebrate the great work that this government has done under a very effective minister over four years and look at what uh, realistically these changes that have been brought through this legislation will have. And I think it's clear to everybody in New Zealand, and if not they are deniers, that smoking is the leading preventable cause of early death. And we have groups within society who are affected uh, to a much greater degree than some others. And I particularly want to recognise the work uh, that Minister Turia has put into this House over the last four years to look at changing the disproportionately over-representation of Māori and young Māori in smoking statistics. Because that's harm that can be avoided uh, in all members of this House, rather than focusing on what else could be or should be done, or how they would do it if they were still in government, should be focusing on actually the achievements that have been brought uh, to this piece of legislation. Mr Speaker, uh, very clearly uh, this will do one thing and one thing alone. It will increase the, the cost of tobacco by 10 per cent per year each year for four years. And at the end of that period of time, a packet of cigarettes will be close to $20 per packet. Now that's $1 per cigarette. Uh, and for our young New Zealanders, I believe this is one of the most important things that we can do to put smoking out of their reach. Because if we uh, think about some of us when we grew up, uh, when cigarettes costed, the, the price was so much less, they would be shared uh, freely around the place. But I encourage you, Mr Speaker, or any other member of this House, to go out to a school and ask, walk around asking kids in the playground for a dollar. Say, can I have a dollar? Give me a dollar and I guarantee you won't come away with very many dollars. But what this equates to was years ago, can I have a cigarette was seen to be not something of any value or any great cost. And so I say to the Minister, these changes we're bringing into effect are going to have the biggest positive effect uh, upon young people's health by stopping them from starting smoking. Uh, and uh, you know, I'll come on to what we're doing around helping people to stop, to support them. But stopping young people starting smoking is the, you know, the very best gift we can give them, and in, in, in as far as this piece of legislation is concerned. Statistically, we uh, know that a 10 per cent increase in the price uh, of tobacco uh, equates to a 4 per cent decrease in consumption. And therefore, with this legislation over the next few years, we estimate that there will be about a 16 per cent de decrease in consumption. And what that means is fewer people smoking. So it's not just that some will smoke less, but fewer people will smoke. Fewer will start smoking. Many more people uh, will give up. Now, it's important that in doing this, we uh, continue to support those who, who are challenged, who are addicted to this, this uh, drug. Uh, and the harm that it does them. Uh, and the government, uh, I'm very proud to say, in the budget in 2012, put in uh, $20 million extra to assist pathways towards a smoke-free New Zealand by 2025. This is on top of funding that was put in in, in previous governments. Indeed, Mr Speaker, uh, what I can say to you uh, is that uh, we are making these increases but this is in addition to an annual in inflation incre uh, indexed increases in excise following a 40 per cent increase in the price of tobacco uh, since 2010. So our record on this when it comes to smoking is clear. Four and a half to five thousand New Zealanders die each year due to smoking or exposure to secondhand smoke and that's four and a half to five thousand deaths that can be avoided. And I believe this legislation will help in the future to reduce that number. About 650,000 New Zealanders smoke. And we know again through surveying that the majority of people who smoke, the vast majority of people who smoke, wish they had never started and want to find a way to stop. And I recognise that it's not easy, but it can be done. And there are many members of this House who are able to attest uh, to that. Now, uh, I just want to uh, briefly touch on some of the things as a government we have done uh, previously uh, to decrease uh, uh, smoking uh, as, uh, as it stands. A 40% uh, uh, increase in the, the excise price since April 2010 adopted the better help for smokers to quit, uh, where one, uh, which is one of our six priorities in the health sector. Uh, and we now know that 
uh, what has happened under Tony Ryle is people who go to hospital visit their doctors, 89% of them are asked about giving up smoking and offered support. That's from zero because this wasn't a target that didn't happen before. 2011 calendar year, uh, 129,000 patients received advice of how to quit support from their GPs. And one of the most important things that can happen is your GP, a health professional, asking you, uh, uh, do you know smoking is not good for you, uh, knowing how you can stop. Uh, we have increased fines around uh, those who sell tobacco to minors from $2,000 to $5,000, $10,000 for a body corporate, banned smoking in prisons, a jump of 50% calls to the quit line has resulted in significant increases in funding uh, and higher tobacco from higher tobacco taxes, increased the uptake. 82% in that 18 months of people who are looking for nicotine replacement gums and patches. We have included uh, the tablets that you can ha take to help you uh, reduce smoking. They are now free, uh, available under the health service. Mr uh, uh, Speaker, I want to finish here uh, by one statistic which I think is fantastic. In 1999, 15.6% of school age students smoked. That's not the fantastic part. In 2011, that number had dropped to 4.1%. That's a wonderful decrease. So many more young New Zealanders whose lives will be longer and healthier. But I set a challenge to this House. 4.1% of school-aged children smoking is still far too high. We need to work collectively together to find ways to reduce that number and to support those who smoke to not smoke. I commend the Minister for this legislation, thank the committee for its work and commend the Bill to the House. Thank you. Uh, Dr David Clark. Mr Speaker, uh, I rise to...